वेलकम इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द प्राइमरी कीज इन डेट शिफ्ट एंड देन डेटा बेस व्यूज प्राइमरी की एंड फॉरिन की इफ आई हैव ए टेबल कस्टमर्स ऑन देयर ऑर्डर्स एन ऑर्डर कैन बी जनरेटेड ओनली इफ आई हैव ए कस्टमर विदाउट ए कस्टमर आई कॉन्ट क्रिएट ए ऑर्डर so my order table should rely on customer and check for that in such case i'll just select a primary key and foreign key here so my primary key in my customer table would be the customer id and in my order table the primary key would be order id whereas the foreign key would be the customer id because the customer id in order table is a foreign key and it is a primary key for customer table so here my order table will check if the id is generated in customer table only if my id is generated in customer table then the entry is accepted to the order table in this example i have the customer id is 231421 and i have the customer id is 1234 in customer table so all my orders are accepted when it comes to the customer id 5 as my customer id itself do not exist in my customer table then the order will not be accepted as you can see the highlighted row at the bottom of orders table see this for every record it will verify and iterate you can create the primary key and foreign key by using the following statement underneath the orders table which is create table orders and order id integer order name customer id primary key which is order id and then foreign key is order id referenced from customer id of customer table whereas while creating a customer table you can create table customers customer id and i am using identity column 1 2 which is the serial number generated by the database itself and customer name customer address and primary key would be my customer id here remember about the identity column which i am starting with 1 and incrementing by 1 so that's the reason after identity i gave 1 comma 1 if you give 1 comma 2 then my sequence will be generated as 1 plus 2 which is 3 plus 2 which is 5 plus 2 which is 7 and followed by database views these are the typical views like how we use in any other database we can just create the statement by using create view on the name of your view as and inside that you can write select statement you may join multiple tables or do whatever the sql you want inside it and create a view so view is just the metadata it is a virtual table it doesn't contain the actual data whenever you query the view then it will go and hit the original tables underneath and fetch the data for you see here i have my employee data when i create a view it will just create this metadata but when i write a select statement to read data from this view saying select star from vw underscore employee then the data will be fetched from the actual table which is employee table you can create a view by using multiple tables from different schemas as well Thank you.